Hillary Clinton supporters stormed out of a raucous meeting of the Democratic National Committee's Rules Committee. The candidate herself is just as outraged over the decision on how to seat Michigan's delegates. Clinton says she may appeal the ruling, which means the fight for the nomination wouldn't be decided until the party's August convention in Denver. These Clinton supporters are all for that. She's a fighter. That's why she's still here. That's why she's performing. This, this is farce. This is not the People's Party. We're going to defect. We are not going to vote for Obama. I value my faith. So you're going to vote for McCain if it's not Hillary? Absolutely. After hours of testimony and after hours behind closed doors, the committee reached a deal that puts Obama 66 delegates away from securing the nomination. With Michigan, Clinton's camp argued Obama should not get any pledge delegates since he chose not to put his name on the ballot. Obama's team wanted to divide the pledge delegates in half between the two campaigns. The committee agreed on a compromise to split the difference, with each delegate getting half a vote. The decision is a blow to Clinton. There's been a lot of talk about party unity. Let's all come together, wrap our arms around each other. I submit to you, ladies and gentlemen, that hijacking four delegates notwithstanding the flawed aspect of this, is not a good way to start down the path of party unity. As for the other disputed state, Florida, the committee unanimously agreed to seat the delegation based on the outcome of the January primary, but with each delegate getting half a vote as a penalty. The Clinton campaign accepted the ruling. Obama's campaign manager said, we're extremely gratified that the commission agreed on a fair solution that will allow Michigan and Florida to participate in the convention. But party leaders have the difficult task of uniting a still divided party. A party that may not be any closer to picking a nominee. In Washington, Rita Nissan, Capital News.